All right, I had to shoot this clip off my phone really quickly because the clip that you're about to see is something that my video editor chose from an interview I did recently. And I wanted to make sure you guys had context. So I'm, I swear to you, this is gonna be one of the most important videos you've probably seen, all right? Just seeing the insight. And it's gonna be with some things very personal to me, all right? And I'm gonna add context at the end. I guarantee you will get value if you watch this to the end. So let's get into this clip. It's the mat work. Especially as introverted as I was, I had all these ideas and information I was taking in, but I wasn't executing. So yeah, I was, I might even build something and do something dope, but I wasn't executing past that step. And I so you, you had ideas, but did you have like a vision? No vision, just ideas? No fucking vision, man. Um, like that was my biggest struggle personally, um, to be real. Because I'm somebody who likes to do things intentionally and know what I'm doing and, and want to take it a certain place. So I could be doing a hustle, but then I feel like I'm not going to dedicate it long. If it's not long term for me, yeah, then like it just it just wanes where I feel okay. like I'm being purposeless. I'm I'm, I'm yeah against that. But so I really had like a early life crisis where it's mm -hmm. like, man, I know this is my driver, how I like to move, but. I don't know what I want to do, all right? Yeah, wait, let me know if I'm wrong here because right now, just to provide context, so you're the co-founder of Contraband Agency and Brandman, right? Brandman Network. So, Brand Man, yep. so you said you started the event-based business. You didn't really, you know, fulfill it all the way. It was too much for you, but I think you can take a lot of positives from it because from that, I'm pretty sure you built, and let me know if I'm wrong here, you built a network of, uh, of artists. And through that network, you can really you have a, a base where you can kind of use that for your, for the brands that you're working on because you help musicians kind of market themselves and promote their music. I would actually say no. Really? I did build a sense of visibility, which really came from the YouTube channel and mm -hmm. then those credibility started to play off of each other. A okay. Bit. But I was that behind the scenes. I was spending very much more, most of my time actually building business. I wasn't interested in being seen. The YouTube channel, I wanted to stop it for a period because also I was like, do I want to even be in music, right? Mm -hmm. All of that was a, in question for me because I'm somebody who doesn't like to waste time, right? And I'm like, hey man, I need to go ahead and build my business. This isn't it. If I don't think it's it, why am I going to spend my time there until it became this idea of being in music and saying, well, let me use what I have here and build because maybe I might not need to be, I might not be music full time when I'm 60 years old, 40 years old, 35, 30 years old or something. But this can get me to a certain point where then I might be, I might invest, like flip that into something else, right? There's artists who are in other industries now let me just mm -hmm. take a picture of this because time is ticking. You've been at this level, the lower level, all this time, and you can build things really quickly to level five, like nobody's business. And you keep doing that just because you're you're bored and you like building. But at some point, I don't care how smart you are, you got to dedicate and commit to something to get over that hump and go it all, go through all the bullshit that you have to learn, face, and and those tribulations to become good at that next level. And that's what I had to uh, to do for myself like just say hey look just stay here yeah my goal one year was to be doing the same thing that i was doing the previous year yeah, yeah. then it was that same thing again and now all right i have my groove and, and music versus like hopping to something else and, and and not out of the hustle a lot of people do it out of the hustle they're busy going nowhere i was mm -hmm. busy going nowhere just because i was building out of board and i had no specific vision but did you did you combine your passion, your interest? Like, is music a passion or a strong interest? And then you combine that with your passion for entrepreneurship and marketing? Uh, yeah, it's a lot of ways. The thing is, music actually zaps, you know, like the industry for me, some ways zaps a little bit of my romanticization of music, right? Just because you know so much um, and I can, can't relax in the, and enjoy it in the same way. Uh, but... But yeah, so I wouldn't even, I wasn't say, I wouldn't say I was doing it all out of the passion. I was doing it more for 
the marketing aspect of it was more of a, a passion that I stayed within. Mm -hmm. I was very hell bent on not becoming some guy talking about production because that's popping every video, talking about, uh, I mean, as a, as a topic, talking about, you know, split sheets and music. I don't know if you know what that is, but all these back contracts and all these subjects and music that weren't the wheelhouse that I wanted to stay in because I realized the energy I put out, right? This same for throwing an event. If I tell people this is a twerk fest, they come with the energy to see and do some twerking. Right. <laughs> if I talk to you about all these different subjects, people are going to start asking you about these different subjects. Right. And when they ask and you have the answer and if you don't enjoy talking about it, don't even put it out there. So there's a lot of shit that I know that I don't talk about within that. Mm -hmm. because I don't want to get that brand out there. I don't want to create any traction in that space. That's how I stay. I feel that. All right, shout out to Get The Bag Podcast for even asking that question. Um, I look, demon expected, but look, these are the two points that you cannot miss. You cannot miss. You might even have to run it back to really understand what you just saw. But number one, I'm going to go through quick to get to number two. Number one, this stuff is not always linear. It's not. It just isn't, right? I didn't even know that I was going to go from a music festival that was doing very well and then go into music and doing things with artists and all that kind of stuff. I didn't have that plan. And those things did not even parlay into each other. Right? They started separately, completely individually. And then they happened to connect down the line with some of the information and things like that. But stuff is not always linear. It's not always c connected directly, but it will always come together. Right? Keep that in mind. J just keep that part in mind. But let's get to number two, because it's even more important. You do not have to have a vision, right? We have all this talk about what's your vision? Where do you want to go? What's your vision? What do you need? And what's the vision of your brand? What's the vision of your life and, and, and your, your personal life, your husband and wife and all? What's, what's the vision? You do not need a vision, especially when we talk about career, right? So if you're down, if you're in a dark place, you don't know where you want to go and exactly what you want to be and how you want to do it, you don't need that. What you need is commitment. All right. And I mean that wholeheartedly. You heard me say my goal one year was to simply be doing the same thing the next year that I was doing the prior year. And then after year two, it was to simply be doing the same thing again because I had a very real problem that so many people have. All right. So many talented people who can get to one point and then. They don't commit, though. They, 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 they move to the next thing. Right. I can water a plant better than anybody in the world. Right. I get that thing from a seed. It sprouts out. Now you start to see it above ground. And then I move on to the next plant. And then I grow that to that point faster than anybody else. And I grow that faster to the point than anybody else. And over five years, I have more sprouted little plants, per se, than anybody else. Yet I'm looking at other people who just have one tree. Right. That's what, what you start to feel like when you're hopping one thing to the next. That's a very real place to be. So you have to commit. Right. Because honestly, the people who have vision, they still need commitment because right? you can't get there without it. That's why those people suffer the worst. If you're somebody who has a vision, but you don't have the commitment to actually get to that vision, to spend time and stay there and go through all the ups and downs, you're going to suffer because now mentally you're in a place. Right. You don't believe you are. You deserve to be where you are. Right. You have this vision. Some people don't even have a vision so they can be complacent and they don't they don't have a, any anything pushing them or pulling them, making them feel like they should be bigger than they are or doing better than than they are and whatever they're doing. But if you have that. Right. That I should be here. I don't belong where I'm at, but you don't have the commitment to get you there. Oh, trust me. Trust me. It hurts. It really hurts. So you don't need. You do not need, right, a vision. Not at first. You just need the commitment because I guarantee you those people who just focus and they commit and they get a tree out of things. Now they can see, right, way higher up. And next thing you know, they have vision. You went from I don't have a vision, but you committed and got yourself to a point where you can have better sight. You, you can see more ground. And now you have vision. And now it's about where do I go from there? So don't get distracted by those people, those people who have a lot of trees, because whether you know it or not, they all started with one tree. All right. But they had that. They got to that point where they had that vision and they built a skill set. All right. This is the real part. 
and they built the skill set of growing a tree, which part of that skill set is simply the discipline of staying with it. So now they can build other trees and they can build other trees faster than anybody else who could just sprout something up. Oh, yeah, I could sprout and take something from seed to poking out the ground faster than anybody. But I don't know the steps of building a tree. Right, because that's a skill set you have to do at the end of the day. All of us have to answer to a principle. Right. And that's action. And over time, that's consistent action. Right. That consistent action is not the same as just taking action. Far greater results. So last thing before I get out of here, I got to switch it up to address artists specifically, because obviously we talk to so many of y'all on this channel. Right. This doesn't just apply to your overarching vision of what industry you're in. Right. Like it did with me at one point um, or what you're doing, your personal life. It doesn't just apply to this overarching vision. It's even within your industry and your, and your work. Right. Like even with me within company and, and products and things like that. So what do I mean by that? Your strategy that you're applying to grow. It applies in the same place. Right. The strategy, for lack of better words, can be a vision in this standpoint. But if you do not actually have the commitment to complete that strategy, which is what I see with so many artists, it doesn't matter. You're not going to get there. There's so many artists that get into a program, right? And literally so they can save money, they they cancel a program hours after they 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 uh they join it. They never committed to anything. It's like, okay, cuz you're trying to save money. Are you committed to getting as much information for as little as possible? Or are you committed to getting the right information and results? Because most people can get five times the results with half the amount of the information they've consumed. I guarantee you're probably one of them, right? Because you've probably ran into some of those people where you're like, yo, this person barely even knows what I know. He's just lucky, right? No, if, if anything, he's lucky he took the action to get there. Right. So, you know that you don't have to know as much as you know to get where you want to get. All it takes is that principle of the action. Right. That principle of the consistent action, which is commitment. That's it. Like You know, you know this, you know this. So stop hopping different strategies. Right. You're never applying any strategy. They never get a chance to breathe and stop hopping from different like pieces of information and programs and things like that. And then thinking they don't work. It's like, no, you're not working. And I know because I've been there, right? I kept seeing these trees. these, And I'm like, how did people get there? But I'm hopping from thing to thing. It was me. And I guarantee that if you're not reaping those results, all right, those real results, it's probably you. It's probably not whatever program you you joined, right? It's probably not your your, your boss or, or or like it can't always be your boss or it can't always be something else or someone else or it can't always be that this YouTube video even didn't give me the right information. It's like, did you even apply that last that, that last thing you took in? So so that's it. Um, <laughs> I didn't even know again that this video would be posted, but. Shout out to EJ for even choosing um, that clip. And here's <laughs> the rant associated with it. Always want to be as candid and honest with you guys as possible. I mean, if you like content like this, uh, just anything music related, but also just how you get there. For real, for real. How do you get there? And want conversations like this? Subscribe. You know, hit that, hit that notification bell. Smash that thing. And until then, see you again next video. Peace.